good morning and good afternoon everyone namaste uh, welcome everyone the day 15 today we are celebrating honoring our uh, beloved guru patni ji sir so we welcome each and every one of you here today and uh, these sessions are a collaborative effort between beam team and omega pyramid team and pyramid spiritual society movement usa and global uk and india and breath universe from australia and meditation magic mm -hmm. we have our uh, special guest today speaker shrikant garla he is based out of atlanta and he is a seasoned it architect working with a global manufacturing organization his true passion lies in teaching meditation and spreading its profound joy among those seeking inner peace and driven by this purpose shrikant sir has organized and conducted numerous impactful events alongside patri sir such as global pyramid conference in chicago and the vegetarian vision conference in new york and his efforts have also been pivotal in in arranging mega meditation summits in dallas and rally north carolina through his dedication uh, sir continues to touch lives inspiring many on uh, other on their journeys to self realization i am glad to be here i mean uh, i am i am very happy to uh, welcome you sir and uh, session is yours we all uh, want to hear from you about your experiences with uh, patri ji sir thank you so much thank you thank you thank you <clears throat> first of all uh, uh, deepest pranams to our grand master brahma shri pitamaha patri ji yeah uh, thank you again uh, for that uh, wonderful introduction anshu ji and uh, would also like to thank uh, this platform where the one what i like is the collaborative effort right so collaborative effort with everybody doing together that is this is one thing what we have been trying to achieve from day one and uh, and uh, doing this program with the with that entire efforts is really uh, remarkable so so thank you again uh would like to thank again pranal niji uh, divya of course the entire team who has been uh, tirelessly working to make this event happen to bring various masters across the globe onto this onto this platform i watched a few of them and the experiences and the wisdom what they share is is so so profound right so thank you thank you for all the masters who are working behind the scene for this program uh yeah uh honoring patri ji this is always a dearest thing to talk uh when when given a chance right so thanks for uh, providing this opportunity to me too uh so i'd like to probably talk about little bit about uh, my background and then my association with patri ji and what uh, few things what we have learned from this grand master so this is how i'm planning to do uh so as most of us uh, i've also learned uh, this this uh, technique of meditation or finding of truth through through my parents uh, so my parents jyoti madam and madhusudan sir from chennai so uh, they've been uh, doing this from i think from 2003 and they've been uh, pressurizing me or all others to to practice this and at that time there were so many questions so many uh, uh i would say not not that kind of a uh, uh, some youth blood right so we will not agree with everything as everybody so that's how we used to argue with them and uh, say that is this the right time to do for us is it needed for us and things like that 
So this was being happening for a couple of uh, uh, years, practicing here and there with uh, with some kind of a force. But first time uh, I had a chance uh, since since our parents were in Chennai and uh, they were uh, having uh, uh, the center uh, in Chennai. So various masters used to come and uh, uh, so in 2005, probably that is the time, first time when Patri sir was planning to visit our home in Chennai. So, uh, so I had, uh, I was very eager to meet him and I had so many questions in my mind, which I wanted to talk to him uh, about about this whole thing and uh, how, uh, what are, uh, mm, is it the right path for us? Is it the right thing to do? Or why why do we need at this time? And so many, so many, so many questions like that. And the day came when uh, first time I met him in person, eye to eye. So, so that first experience uh, was so so profound that uh, this, so these are the things what I learned later that what will happen when you meet these grand masters in person is the first thing what will happen is our mind becomes blank. So you had so many questions in mind what you use you wanted to ask all that will be shut down first. It, it happens automatically, I, I would think, based on, on their uh, energy levels, right? And uh, so he's, uh, he was asking to me some few things and uh, I was sharing about what I was doing professionally and things like that. So those discussions were happening. But for some time, I was just looking at his eyes and he was looking eye to eye with no discussions at all, just looking at it. No thoughts, no no doubts, nothing. We just looking at eyes. So what I felt, all my questions, what I had in my mind, are answered without even he opening his mouth. So so these grandmasters, especially Patriji, right? He is always in that giving mode, right? He he either gives. Uh, wisdom or his uh, experience or his knowledge through his uh, through his words or sometimes with his flute right sometimes with gestures and this time just by looking at you by looking at you he can share that kind of uh, wisdom or or whatever message he wants to give he can just see through your eyes and pass it on, right? He looks so deeply into your eyes uh, that he he gets to look at our entirety, I would think, right? Because that deep he looks. That's why when he talks or when he listens to people's experiences, he just watches their eyes. And, and through the eyes, he does everything. Most of the things he does through the eyes is what I feel, right? So, so that was my first uh, encounter with him, and uh, and later on, I I got all my answers. I thought, and then I started my practice, uh, truly, right? All the other first two years I was doing by force. But after I met him in person, that's where I truly said, no, I wanted to find my inner self. So that kind of awareness I got the time I met him for the first time. So, so the feeling, the feeling of these grandmasters, how it would be is what I wanted to describe next is, uh, Let's say, suppose the feeling like when you are uh, with uh, with uh, with Rama, right? In in the Ramayana story, say suppose when you are with like Dina Marian, right? 
she was with Sita Sita Ma, and uh, at that time, and once she came back, she, when she remembers all that, how is the feeling she had that she was with Sita Ma, and she used she experienced that that kind of divinity, right? So so that kind of feeling we will have because we are not sure. I mean, I do not remember if I was with. Rama, either in somewhere in the forest or somewhere in the war, I do not remember that, right? I could have been with with uh, with Lord Krishna in the Kurukshetra, in some of the other characters. I do not remember. I could have uh, been with even Buddha uh, along with that bhikshas, right? In one of the as a bhiksha, I do not remember. Even with Vivekananda, when he said, uh, my dear brothers and sisters on the Chicago stage, I would have been there among his team, right? I do not remember. But what I remember is when Patrisar said the same, used the same stage and he said, my dear friends, my dear gods, right? When he said that, I was there with him. I remember that. I remember that. Right, so so you see the feeling. I was with that kind of a person in the same platform, in the same stage. I could see him live. I do not remember the others. I could have been, but I do not remember. But this one I remember. Now now see the feeling, right? As how Dina Miram had when she was with with uh, Sitama. That is the feeling I have when I said, "Oh man." I was with Patriji. I was, I was in the same time when he was living, and I was, uh, I traveled with him. I, I spoke with him. I discussed with him. I touched him. I see, see the see the feeling within that these these grandmasters give it to you, right? So that that is kind of a person whom we are talking about today, my dear friends. This is not a simple ordinary. People, they they have come for a purpose. They have taken this uh, birth with a uh, with a intention to bring the truth to to each each individual of this uh, and bring the humanity into oneness. Right, that is their uh, path. So, so that's how the feeling is. Uh, I'd like to share a couple of uh, encounters, what I see uh, when I was very fortunate that I was able to arrange all his programs when he traveled to the U.S. So so we when he comes for about whatever days, 20 days, 30 days, I used to plan his entire tour of the U.S. And I ensure that all the sessions in various regions happen uh, as planned and things like that. So I'm very fortunate uh, to do those activities. So we, the first time when he came, he came to the USB even before, but when I was here, when uh, uh, when I was uh, doing these, that was the first time when he came in 2012. And from 2012 to 2019, almost every year, probably we would have missed a year in between but every year he used to come and uh, we used to arrange various programs so so the level of uh, commitment and uh, at the level of uh, uh, efforts what he puts into this is is amazing my dear friends so usually when uh, i'm i'm from atlanta all as you all know right when we arrange a program in atlanta when sir comes, we do so many things to make that program successful. And sir make comes and arranges that, and he 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 participates and he does it right. And once he leaves Atlanta, we think we I mean we as an organizers we feel relieved. Okay, we are done with an, with one of the session, right? But sir, from one place to other. He gets into that same mode again, with same energy, with same enthusiasm. He he goes and to a different place on a different day, 
and he continues his journey. So when we do something for one program, we, are, we get so much uh, relieved after uh, finishing it, but he is not tired at all. Every day he keeps traveling to different places and he comes with the same enthusiasm and with same energy. That was, that was remarkable, remarkable. I traveled a few places with him also. And uh, uh, the, the time what he spends or the travel time is, is beautiful, beautiful with him. If you, uh, the, those opportunities, what we spend with him in the travel is the best time than, than in the sessions for us because he shares so many things, so many things, and he mm, he's so jovial, he's so uh, entertaining, he keeps he keeps the uh, journey so effortless. That's how he builds the energy, I would think. And uh, and in one of the occasion, we saw there was a program in uh, New York, that's uh, Vegetarian Vision, uh, one of the event what we did. Um, so that event is kind of an uh, a running crowd, right? So so there will be people coming in, coming, going out. Uh, so what we thought is we will we will do a uh, meditation session every hour. So there are new people coming in. So we'll make them sit and do meditation for about not not for long, but to twenty to twenty five minutes, and we share something, and then we'll move the people out and we'll bring the next group in. So that was our plan of action. And we thought uh, we can invite uh, Patri sir for the first session and the last session. And then we can rest of the time, we'll give him some rest so that we can use other masters because we do not want to uh, uh, tire him, right? We want to give him some gap and so that he can rest and then he can come back. That was our plan of action as organizers. And we also lined up all our masters who will take this uh, take this action. But the moment when uh, Sir went onto the stage to uh, to handle that particular group, he did all that. And while we were moving the crowd, we asked Sir, Sir, do you want to step down, take some rest, and then go? He said no. He'll wait and he wanted the other group to come in. So we did that. The second group came in and they went. And the third group came in. Sir doesn't want to get down off the stage at all. So he did probably about seven to eight session in one day from starting from 10 to four or five. He did not even get up. So see the commitment and see the energy what he has he has been doing that activity every hour every hour without uh, without taking rest so so that is the level of commitment and uh, that is the things what we learn from him right so so many so many things what we learn uh, from him in various ways so as i was saying through wisdom through gestures and things like that so many things he also teaches us while he is performing, he is acting, right? Like, for example, cooking, right? He does not tell you that you do this, you do this. But the way he is doing, we see that and learn what is the best way to do, how to, how to, use, how to use the utensils, how to you know, cut the vegetables, how to cook simple with simple uh, uh, ingredients. Right, so all this we we see him and learn, and and one uh, and one thing, the most effective thing what we learn from him is is to apply common sense. The common sense is so profound when he does anything, right? So. Uh, We'll have to apply that common sense, which is very common, it should be, but we have lost and we made things so complicated in our life. But when we see him, we can see how simple he can live and uh, how simple 
we can uh, use the common sense piece. So, so these are the things what we learned, and uh, and he lived uh, with what he has been teaching, even even at the time when he was uh, leaving her the body, he lived on what on what he 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 was portraying. So he he displayed the the level of consciousness and the level of body consciousness and how profound they both are different i could see uh, he displayed even at the deathbed so so we have learned so many so many things from him and we are very very fortunate to be in the same time as where he lived and uh, yeah so we we'll had to take these things, whatever we have learned, and this is now our opportunity to take this message to the to the world, my dear friends. So, so let's jointly, together, we take this message and uh, take to each and every individual uh, to pass this truth. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you very much for providing this opportunity. And uh, if you have any questions or anything, I can take it. Yeah, definitely, sir. Thank you so much uh, for sharing your experiences. And I can see that uh, uh, in your face, you were so happy. I was, you were so in, like you, you went there, like, uh, uh, so that was very uh, beautiful. So let us, uh, I'll, if you, if anybody have any questions or if you want to ask, please unmute and uh, ask with uh, Srikant, sir. I'll ask a question, sir. So just tell me one great quality uh, you are implementing from Patri, sir. So, I mean, there are so many qualities, but one quality, if, if you have to choose, so what would be that? Yeah, so one, so there are various qualities which will uh, be built with us automatically when we practice meditation right and uh, uh, and uh, one one thing what i spoke is the common sense thing common sense applying common sense is is so 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 essential uh, in our day to day life that is one thing what we have learned and uh, uh, and the other things what he describes right like no complaining, no judging of people. So these are these are the things when we take out from our uh, uh, from our list or from our character stakes, automatically there is so much of time which is built within and so much of space in the mind which gets cleared. right? So there are so simple statements, but if you apply it, in your life, I mean, no judging of people or no gossips. Those are those are very simple things. But if you take out from your list, oh, there is so much of time, so much of time. People say, no, I do not have time. I do not have time. When you remove these two things, automatically there is so much of time which is built in and you can do various activities which are uh, which are so essential for life, right? So, so, so these are things which will actually get built in, but it is always better when sir says that you'll have to follow, but right. So these are no judgment and no gossips and no complaints. So these are very profound things which we need to follow. I would say. <laughs> very wonderful, sir. Because these are the three main steps we have to follow. We, we thought like very small one, but it will yeah. actually, it will give more impact in our life and exactly. if we apply in every situation in our life so even i i just followed that no gossiping or no yeah. uh, complaints judgments that's it we we yeah. will have so many so much of time, so much time right? yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
that is true. So Master uh, actually Srikant sir had some work to rush. So that is the reason we have taken uh, first vision uh, sharing from the master. So uh, we'll start meditation now. If you guys and, uh, don't have any questions or something so that we can move on to the meditation part. So Jansi, one question for Srikant. Yes. Really yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, first of all, Srikant, thank you so much for coming. I know you're busy. Uh, thank you for so much for taking time and coming today. And one question, Srikant. In one word, how do you describe Patriji? In one word? <laughs> in one word, yeah. In one word, uh, yeah. If we want to talk in one word, yeah, I would say the the friendship only. He, he always uh, tries to be friend with you, right? That's why we are able to share e anything with him. Anything with him. Uh, earlier, at least, uh, we had to call him and we had to talk to him. Now, you close your eyes, he's there with you. <laughs> he's there with you. He's become so, so much reachable now. So much reachable. Even, even uh, new people who are... Uh, who have not seen Patrisa in person, what happened now is they are just sitting and closing their eyes and they're taking messages from Patrisa. So, so yeah, friendship is the only way you can get into, into anybody so close, so close. No other relationship can bring you, bring two people together so close. So, yeah, I would say the friendship. Yes. Wonderfully said, Srikant. Totally agree with it. <laughs> and one more question, Srikant. So yeah. he, he he was there with us, physically there, and he was not with us anymore. Mm -hmm. So how do you envision PSM, uh, Srikant, the future? Yeah, that's what I said. So earlier, when Patricia was here, I mean, physically, there were some boundaries because those are the dharma of the body, right? You like you can do only certain things with mm. certain uh, action, right? But he's gone beyond. So now there is there is no boundaries of bodily dharma. So so this is more easy now for him to achieve uh, whatever he's thinking. So. So there are, he created more Patrijis now. He, even when he was physically available, there were so many Patrijis. Now it is, it is, I would say, 10 times or uh, close to 50 times more. Because we see the activities in last three years, just in the US, if you see, activities have increased. People have increased. Right, people who are practicing have increased. Who are leading have increased. So how is how is all this happening? Because the consciousness of Patriji is getting spread so much because there is no bodily dharma. So 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 the impact is much more now. Is what my point is. Mm. Right. So this will this will still is going to multiply, multiply. So we we are we'll be able to do more things now, Divya. So, so wonderful, wonderful, Srikant. Yes. So this is how we should look at. Yeah, so be it. So be it. Yep. Thank you, thank you, Srikant. Thanks. So thank you so much, yes, Srikant, sir. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, Rajni, ma'am, are you asking question? You good? Okay. Yeah, I am good. I just wanted to thank you for okay. thank him for all this uh, uh, sharing about Patriji's uh, character and uh, everything. We are getting closer and closer to him with these uh, twenty one days uh, sessions. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. So I think uh, we don't have any questions, sir, uh, so that we can uh, uh, start the meditation. And thank you for joining us today and sharing your wisdom 
and uh, such a wonderful experiences you had with Patri sir and we are able to listen from your uh, side. We are very fortunate and uh, uh, thank you from all of us. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Let's uh, start the meditation masters. <laughs> 